As the sun rose on June 4th, 1942, I found myself standing on the deck of the USS Yorktown, a sense of anticipation mingling with the salty sea breeze. Little did I know that the events about to unfold would change the course of World War II in the Pacific. We were stationed near a small atoll known as Midway, a pivotal outpost in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. The tension would be palpable as our fleet prepared for what would become one of the most decisive naval battles in history. The Battle of Midway, fought from June 4th to June 7th, 1942, marked a crucial turning point in the Pacific theater of World War II. Following the devastating attacks of Pearl Harbor by the Japanese six months earlier, the United States sought to retaliate and halt Japan's advances across the Pacific. Midway Atoll, located roughly halfway between the United States and Japan, emerged as a strategic focal point in the conflict. Under the command of Admiral Isoroko Yamamoto, the Japanese Imperial Navy meticulously planned daring offense aimed at expanding the territorial conquest in the Pacific. Yamamoto, a strategic mastermind, recognized the importance of Midway Atoll as a vital outpost that could serve as a springboard for further Japanese advances towards the Hawaii and American West Coast. To achieve this objective, Yamamoto devised an audacious plan known as Operation MI, intending to lure the Pacific fleet into a decisive confrontation near Midway. Central to Yam Yamamoto's strategy was the element of surprise. The Japanese intended to launch a diversionary attack on the Aleutian Islands in Alaska drawing American attention away from their true target, Midway Atoll. Meanwhile, a powerful strike force, including four aircraft carriers, Akagi, Kaga, Soryu, and Hiru, along with numerous supporting vessels, would coverage a Midway to secure a decisive victory. Yamamoto's plan hinged on the assumption that the American carriers, recently weakened by the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, would be lured into a trap and annihilated this allowing Japan to establish dominance in the Pacific unchallenged. However, unbeknownst to the J Japanese high command, American codebreakers led by cryptanalyst Joseph Rochefort had successfully cracked the Japanese naval code, providing Admiral Chester W. Nimitz with invaluable intelligence regarding their plans. Through interception communications, Nimitz learned of the Japanese intentions to attack Midway enabling him to formulate a bold counter strategy that would ultimately turn the tide of the battle in favor of the United States. American Response Armed with the critical intelligence obtained through code-breaking efforts, Admiral Nimitz swiftly devised a daring plan to intercept and engage the Japanese fleet near Midway. Despite the significant numerical advantage enjoyed by the Japanese, Nimitz recognized the strategic importance in defending Midway Atoll and preventing the Japanese from establishing a foothold in the Central Pacific. With time with, of the essence, Nimitz marshaled his available forces including the aircraft carriers USS Enterprise, USS Hornet, and USS Yorktown to confront the Japanese fleet. The American response was characterized by meticulous planning, innovative tactics, and unwavering determination in the face of overwhelming odds. Nimitz understood the pivotal role that aircraft carriers would play in the upcoming battle and positioned his characters strategically to maximize their effectiveness. Moreover, he coordinated closely with his subordinate commanders, Admiral Raymond A. Sprunitz and Admiral Frank J. Fletcher, to ensure a unified, coordinated approach to impending engagement. On the morning of June 4, 1942, as the Japanese launched their initial airstrikes against Midway, American forces stood ready to execute their counterattack. Despite the formidable challenge posed by the Japanese carrier strike force, American pilots displayed remarkable courage and skill as they launched wave after wave of aircraft against the enemy. In a series of daring and audacious attacks, American dive bombers and torpedo planes targeted the Japanese carriers with devastating effects ultimately sinking four of six Japanese carriers within the span of a few hours. The American response in Midway exemplified the ingenuity, bravery, and resilience of the United States Navy in the face of adversity. 
Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, American forces capitalized on their superior intelligence, innovative tactics, and unwavering resolve to achieve a stunning victory that would alter the course of the war in the Pacific. As the sun rose on June 4th, 1942, the stage was set for one of the most pivotal naval engagements of World War II. The Japanese carrier strike force under the command Vice Admiral Chuchi Nagumo launched its initial airstrikes against Midway Atoll, hoping to catch the American defenders off guard. However, to Nagumo's surprise, the American forces were already aware of the Japanese plans. Thanks to the intercepted communications code breaking efforts of the US Navy. In a bold and decisive move, American carrier aircrafts were launched to intercept the incoming Japanese bombers and torpedo planes, led by inter experienced commanders such as Lieutenant Commander C. Wade McCluskey Jr. and Lieutenant Commander John C. Waldron, American dive bombers and torpedo planes embarked on a perilous journey across the vast expanse of the Pacific, navigating through clouds and combating adverse weather conditions to locate the elusive Japanese carriers. The battle that ensued was marked by intense aerial combat and daring attacks from both sides. American dive bombers from the USS Enterprise and USS Yorktown armed with bombs and torpedoes descended upon the Japanese carriers with precision and determination. In a series of devastating airstrikes, they targeted the vulnerable decks of the Japanese ships, inflicting critical damage and setting several ablaze. Simultaneously, American torpedo planes, including those from the USS Hornet, under the command of Lieutenant Commander Waldron, launched a daring assault on the Japanese carriers, braving a hail of anti-aircraft fire from the defending Japanese warships. Despite facing overwhelming odds and sustaining heavy losses, Waldron's squadron pressed home their attack, successfully hitting the Japanese carriers, further weakening their defenses. Amidst the chaos of the battle, the Japanese carrier strike force scrambled to respond to the unexpected American assault. Nagumo, faced with a sudden onslaught of American dive bombers and torpedo planes, made the fateful decision to rearm his aircraft with ordnance suitable for attacking ground targets, leaving his carriers vulnerable for further aerial attacks. This critical error would prove costly for the Japanese as American aircrafts continued to rain down destruction upon the exposed carriers. By the afternoon on June 4th, the tide of the battle had decisively turned in the favor of the United States. With four of their six carriers incapacitated or sunk, the Japanese were forced to retreat. Their dreams of securing victory at Midway dashed by the determined resistance of the American defenders. As the smoke cleared and the echo of battles faded, the waters around Midway Atoll bore witness to the momentous victory that that would alter the course of the Pacific War and signal the beginning of the end for Japanese naval supremes. Turning point. As the sun began to set on June 4th, 1942, the Battle of Midway had already reached a critical juncture. The tide of the battle had decisively turned in favor of the United States thanks to the combination of strategic foresight, tactical brilliance, and sheer determination. Despite facing overwhelming odds and enduring heavy losses, American naval aviators had succeeded in delivering devastating blows to the Japanese carrier strike force, crippling its offensive capabilities and forcing Vice Admiral Nagumo into defensive posture. With four of their six carriers incapacitated or sinking, the Japanese found themselves in a precarious situation. The loss of so many capital ships along with their highly trained air crews and experienced pilots dealt a severe blow to the Japanese naval power in the Pacific. The carriers Akagi, Kaga, Soryu, and Hairu, once the pride of Imperial Japanese Navy, now lay crippled or engulfed in flames, their decks littered with the wreckage of aircraft and bodies of fallen comrades. Meanwhile, aboard the American carriers, a sense of cautious optimism began to take hold. The success strikes against the Japanese carriers had bolstered morale among the American sailors and aviators, who now saw victory within reach. Yet amidst the jib jibilation, there remained a palpable sense of tension and apprehension. 
The battle was far from over and the Japanese still possessed a formidable fleet, including two undamaged carriers, the Hairu and Junyu, which could potentially turn the tide once again. In the early hours of June 5, 1942, the American carriers launched a series of coordinated attacks against the remaining Japanese carriers, intent of delivering the final blow. Dive bombers from the USS Enterprise and USS Yorktown, along with torpedo planes from the USS Hornet, descended upon the Hairu and John Yu, determined to finish what they had started. The ensuing aerial engagements were fierce and unforgiving as Japanese fighters and anti-aircraft gunners put up a desperate defense against the relentless American assault. Yet, despite their best efforts, the Japanese carriers could not escape the wrath of the American aviators. In a series of coordinated strikes, the Hairu and Junyo were relentlessly pounded by bombs and torpedoes, their decks engulfed in flames and their crews decimated by the relentless onslaught. By the morning on June 5, 1942, the Battle of Midway had reached its climax with the destruction of the Hayu and Junyo, the last remaining vestiges of Japanese naval power in the Pacific were extinguished. The United States had emerged victorious, dealing a crippling blow to the Japanese ambitions of expansion and securing a crucial turning point in the Pacific War. In the aftermath of the battle, the strategic significance of Midway Atoll became apparent. Not only had the American victory halted Japanese expansion in the Pacific, but it also provided a vital forward operating base for future Allied offensives. Moreover, the success of Midway served as a morale boost for the American people and military, proving that the courage, determination, and a bit of luck even the mightiest adversaries could be overcome. The aftermath of the Battle of Midway reverberated across the Pacific Theater and beyond, leaving a lasting impact on the course of the World War II for the United States. The victory at Midway was a watershed moment, shifting the momentum of the war in the Pacific and laying the groundwork for eventual Allied victory. In the days following the battle, both sides took stock of their losses and assessed the strategic implications of the engagement. For the United States, the cost of victory had been high, with the loss of USS Yorktown and a significant number of aircraft and personnel, yet the sacrifices made by American sailors and aviators had not been in vain as the destruction of four Japanese carriers dealt a severe blow to Japanese naval power and morale. In Japan, the defeat at Midway came as a devastating blow to the country's military and leadership. The loss of four carriers alongside hundreds of aircraft and skilled aviators represented a significant setback for Japanese ambitions in the Pacific. Moreover, the defeat shattered the myth of Japanese invincibility and exposed vulnerabilities in the Imperial Navy's command structure and operational doctrine. In the months that followed, the United States capitalized on its victory at Midway, launching a series of offensive that pushed Japanese forces back across the Pacific. Midway Atoll itself was transformed into a vital forward operating base for Allied operations, serving as a launch pad for air raids against Japanese-held territories and a crucial outpost for reconnaissance and intelligent gathering. The strategic significance of Midway extended beyond the military realm, shaping the course of the war and influencing diplomatic relations between the United States and its allies. The decisive victory at Midway bolstered American confidence and resolve, paving the way for increased cooperation with Allied powers and laying the groundwork for the eventual defeat of the Axis powers. In the years that followed World War II, the Battle of Midway took on legendary status as one of the most pivotal engagements in naval history. The courage and sacrifice of those who fought in battle became emblematic in Allied effort to defeat tyranny and secure freedom and democracy for future generations. Today, the memory of the Battle of Midway serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the American people and the enduring legacy of those who fought and died in defense of liberty. The Battle of Midway stands as a testament to the courage, sacrifice, and strategic acumen of those who fought on both sides of the conflict. For the United States, the victory at Midway was a turning point in the Pacific War marking the beginning of the end for Japanese expansionism and paving the way for eventual Allied victory. 
The battle demonstrated the importance of intelligence, preparation, and decisive action in warfare, as well as the critical role of leadership and individual bravery in the face of adversity. Yet, the Battle of Midway was more than a military engagement. It was a clash of ideologists and a struggle for the future of the Pacific region. The defeat of the Imperial Japanese Navy at Midway dealt a severe blow to Japan's imperial ambitions and hastened the decline of its empire. Meanwhile, for the United States and its allies, the victory of Midway represented a triumph of democracy over tyranny and reaffirmation of the values of freedom, justice, and equality. In the years since World War II, the Battle of Midway remained as a symbol of courage, sacrifice, and perseverance, inspiring subsequent generations to strive for peace, justice, and a world often marked by conflict and strife. As we reflect on the legacy of the Battle of Midway, let us honor the memory of those who fought and died in defense of liberty and remember the lessons learned from this pivotal moment in history.